Yes, hello, I'm uh, Daniel Zweider, a senior fellow of the Max Center here in Philadelphia. Uh, I also have just opened my consulting uh, firm after 25 years in the industry, oil and gas and pharmaceuticals. Uh, innovation 20 years ago uh, mainly happened, I would say, in isolation, in, in labs behind closed doors. Uh, what I see happening right now is actually innovation, more collaboration innovation. People actually working together to come up with the next best idea on how we can actually change the world. Uh, for me, this has been the biggest change I've seen over the last 20 years. Open innovation. Exciting. I see innovation in, in a large corporation and I've worked for more than 20 years in large corporations. Uh, if you want to be an innovator in a corporation, you have to get buy-in very early from the senior stakeholders. Uh, otherwise, innovation might just be another idea which will go to, to waste. Uh, I think from a small startup perspective, uh, it, it is slightly different. There you really have to look at, is this innovation going to make a difference? So you actually have to think about who is going to use this, what kind of unmet need will it actually fulfill? So that's a very important part, to be very proactive, not just to be an innovator for the sake of innovating. I think that's very important. Uh, talent education. Uh, I think education is, is the key, and I'm talking about technology innovation uh, now, not really in arts and, and music, which is also innovation, by the way. Uh, I think we really have to uh, put a lot of money in education uh, we have to develop our young talent so that they can actually be the innovators of the future. Uh, I see this as a, as a big issue right now in, in the United States.